once again welcome back uh, in the last video release we have learned we have seen uh, decision making statement through if else condition right I hope you might have seen practiced you see your book for further statements read line by line you'll be able to understand okay right so today we are going to learn today we are going to continue the same topic here today we are going to con continue here looping statements and uh, we will see in that for loop Q basic is giving three basic type of looping statement okay for loop do loop and while when the loop so first of all what is this looping is and why you are using this one in the program so in a very simple term looping means um, uh, executing same statement multiple times a finite number of times okay you are doing some work till a finite number of time is known as looping such as say your name five times so you are telling your name five times that is a type of what looping right natural number up to 20 again a looping print the sum of first 10 natural number that is again a looping okay so repeated task till a finite number till a finite number means what till a, f a final statement where it is going to stop is known as looping so today in a very simple uh, description we are using for loop I make you to understand what is for loop okay so let's see what for loop is there I am writing here first CLS what is the statement of for loop you have to write here for starting to ending variable suppose I am going to print name 10 times so I am writing here for x equal to 1 to 10 step 1 okay and here I'm writing a next X and then last statement will be end so here you see this is your for loop statement this one up to here whatever you can do inside whatever you're going to write that will be executed till that number of time in the first one you see first one you see it is starting from 1 to 10 right here you see for x equal to 1 to 10 means it will run how many times 10 time and what will be the step here for increasing every time it is going to increase by 1 suppose I am asking that from 1 to 10 it will run and and it should run 5 time only then I should increase the step by 2 so first value will be 1 second value will be 3 like that will go each t each time adding 2 okay now inside I am going to write here print let me print uh, let's suppose I am writing a computer okay computer then again I am coming back to the normal so this is the statement I had written inside for loop I am going to run it see 10 times it has been written or not okay so same task is being repeated see what it is going to do it is going to see here x equal to 1 it is less than 10 go to the print print computer again next will again come back here x become 2 because of this step then again print then again it will go here 3 then again print again it will go here 4 again print suppose 10 time now 11th time it is 11 11 is not coming in the range 1 to 10 so it will go from here directly to next st statement that is what in the statement okay you can do it just in reverse order also suppose not from 1 to 10 I am I am going from 10 to 1 so so just have a common sense can I have a plus one or minus one here we should have a minus one here is it see then same work either you go in ascending order or either you go in descending order both are same thing is it so if, if uh, we are have to print the number then instead of this computer what I am going to do I am going to print the number 10 9 
Okay, I am going to show you that ascending order 1 to 10 step is plus 1. Let's see 1 to 10. <coughs> this is known as looping. Okay, and suppose I am writing here 2 and again I'm printing C1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Only 5 times because each time it the variable x will be added by 2, right? So that is there. So this is for loop structure. You can design any program up to your. For example, I am I am giving uh, let, uh, showing you one very simple program to print the sum of first 20 natural number. You have to print the sum. <coughs> so this is that should be a for loop running from 1 to how many time? Yeah, 20 time. And here step is what? 1. Done so. And inside, instead of printing, suppose I am going to print x inside, so it is going to print till 20 time. Okay, so what I am going to do, I am printing also, and inside I am making, making a sum. Sum is equal to sum plus x. I am, I am going to add the number also. And when I will be out of the for loop, I am writing here print sum of sum of first 20 natural natural number is then I'm adding equal to here and then it is coming from where sum outside the loop I'm writing here is it Or rather, rather you can type like this. Uh, this big statement is not looking good. Right here, sum equal to. As now see, see it's okay now. Sum equal to 210. Right. So like this way, things can be done. This loop is running for 20 time. Each time it is going to print the sum. Okay, and when you are outside the loop. This is this is the this is your outside the loop, and your loop is from here. Loop is from here. Is that so? This is for loop structure. Okay, I want that you should try this. You understand this? Um, I will give more example for do loop, do while loop loop while when loop okay further but I I want that you should understand it and try to formulate uh, such that print your name 10 times uh, sum of first 20 natural number sum of first 20 even numbers is it sum of um, you print any symbol for a specific number of times like that you you can see and you try to make you can see your book also Okay, so further I will give a list of programs. You need to write these st statements in your computer copy properly. Okay, so see you in the next class. Okay, God bless.